We get a lot of questions, the difference between our core powders and speed powders. This is gonna be a great video for you if you have this question. Steph's gonna show you the difference right now. All right guys, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We get a lot of questions. I would say it might be our most frequently asked question. What is the difference between your acrylic powders? So I'm gonna break it down for you today, kind of talk about some differences between the two lines and then show you all of the cover colors that we have. Okay, so first of all, what we have here is core clear and speed clear. We get asked constantly what the difference is between the two. As far as visual, they look identical. Both of them are crystal clear. There is no difference in the look of them. What the difference is, is our core line sets slightly slower than our speed line. So we oftentimes get asked, is core better for beginners? It could be um, because it is a slower setting, um, but also it kind of comes down to preference. Temperature is a factor when working with acrylic. So if you live somewhere like the, you know, Las Vegas or in the desert, um, core might be an all the time thing for you. Because of the temperature, it's actually gonna speed that up. Whereas the exact opposite would go for speed. So if you live somewhere where it's just cold all the time, you feel like you're constantly chasing your acrylic, the speed line might be better for you. So for the core line, the set time is roughly around about four, four and a half, maybe even five minutes. Um, again, that depends on the temperature in the room. And for the speed line, it's about three and a half, four minutes. So it's a slight difference between the two, but it's definitely, it comes down to your preference on what you like to work with and the area that you're in. Okay, so as for the whites that we have, we have speed white, which again, it's gonna set slightly faster and it's a completely stark white. It's full coverage. It's a beautiful, beautiful pure white color. We have core triple X white. So that's gonna be the slower setting, but it's the fully, fully pure white. So there's no, it's, there's no break in color. It's fully pigmented. Um, if you're looking for some of the milk bath or baby boomer, that kind of a thing, just the basic core white is more of that milky tone. So you do have a couple options with your whites other than just the set time. Okay, so up next we have our cover colors. Now the cover colors are more of a medium set speed. So somewhere kind of between the core and the speed powders. And what these ones are is full coverage colors. They're completely opaque, you can't see through them. They're great for extending nail beds or even just sculpting out a full nude nail. These three are the three original cover colors that we came out with. Cover Blush, Cover Pink, and Cover Peach. I can swatch these out for you guys so you can get a look at them. Cover Peach is a bit more on the nude side. So we have that one right here. Beautiful, beautiful color, one of my personal favorites. I really love them all, I can't lie. Our second one is Cover Pink. Pretty similar, but definitely more of a pink hue. And we have what I would consider a fan favorite, our Cover Blush. The Cover Blush is always a crowd pleaser because it has glitter in it. So this one's great for when you wanna kind of fancy up your pink and whites or something like that. It comes pre-mixed with glitter. So these three were the first of the cover collection. We have had those in the line for a few years now. Next up, we released all of these new cover colors, I think about two years ago. Cover Bear, Cover Beige, Cover Rosebud, Cover Taupe, and Cover Earth. So I'll go ahead and swatch these ones out so you guys can get a look at these ones as well. Cover Earth is more of a neutral tone. Again, these are all kind of in the neutral family. Great for sculpting your nude sets or extending nail beds. Um, this one is Cover Taupe. It's actually one of my personal favorites. It's not quite a nude, but it is kind of in the neutral family. More of kind of a gray tone. I love this color. It's definitely one of my favorites to do full sets out of or add art to. Cover Rosebud does have a slight metallic to it, I would say. Not quite a gl glitter, but it has a little shimmer to it. Uh, 
Our cover beige is more a little bit of a softer tone. Very, very nice. And our cover bare. Again, kind of on the softer side. Very, very beautiful on its own or in a set. This has been a requested video for quite some time now just to see the difference in all of the cover colors. Um, it's again a preference thing and same thing with the core versus speed line. Uh, it comes down to how you like to work, the climate which you're working in, and then obviously your color preferences between them. So I hope this helped. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now we finally have a breakdown with all the color swatches included. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to DM us or um, shoot us an email. Hey guys, what's going on? We hope you love our videos. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see next. To see more, head over here. To subscribe to our channel, head over here.